Yo, 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 it's your boy Jay Boogie back with another video today on this marvelous, spectacular, rainy, dark day. And let's dive into another video today with another NBA team analysis. And that team is no other than the Indiana Pacers. Key players, of course, is Tyrese Halliburton, Pascal, Spicy P, Siakam, Miles Turner, and their X Factor to me is Aaron Nesmith. Now, first guy I want to talk about. Love this. Uh, I love this kid's game. One of my favorite point guards in the league. And that's Tyrese Halliburton. Man. Pure pass. Uh, pure pass first point guard. This dude passing IQ is off the chain. This dude can set up an offense like clockwork. One of, one of the greatest facilitators in the league. Um, this dude, this dude, this dude is incredible. Like, if you want offense to be set up, if you want ball moves to be happening, go to Tyrese Hagelberg. This dude averaging basically, I think, like 11 assists this, year, uh, this season. So, um, yeah, he reminds me of the J. Kidd passing style at times. Jason Kidd. I'm not Jason Kidd. I don't say Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd. Steve Nash, Chris Paul, those type guys. Um, you know, and then he got offensive bad terms for scoring. Three-point shooter. Can knock down threes in a minute. Um, very unorthodox young shot, but whatever ain't broke, don't fix. So, I feel like, you know, with the Rick, with the Rick Carlisle system, um, with the ball movement, the offensive setup plays, it fits perfect for Tyrese and him you know, being the lead captain on the team and you being the point guard to set up the offense. I mean, it's paying off. I mean, you averaging double digits assists. You can't get any better than that. And I feel like as if though, um, you know, I feel like in the playoffs he has to not limit his scoring. It would be okay if he dropped 33 and 86. You know what I'm saying? He can't actually score the ball. So he has to not limit himself in the playoffs because they're going to need his scoring too. Because Seattle going to give you some good points. Miles Turner, Aaron Nesmith. But you, Tyrese, definitely get buckets in the playoffs, bro. Because you don't know what type of adjustments team is going to have. Especially if you play against a team like the Knicks, who is one of the best defensive teams in the league. So he doesn't need to limit himself, most definitely. Now, another guy I want to talk about, big fan of his game since his Raptor days. And that guy is Pascal Spicy P. Siakam. Man, versatile, another versatile, agile uh, power forward. Uh, can handle the rock. Um... Got a nice offensive bag. Got a go-to move, which is the spin cycle. Uh, got a nice mid-post, mid-range game. Capable three-point shooter. Aggressive finish at the rim. Um, I, he fits perfect with Siakam. Like I said, Siakam and him can do easily pick and roll, pick and pop anytime. Um, that's easily no more than eight straight assists for Siakam. I mean, uh, for, <laughs> for Halliburton. And um, I feel like they're going to need a lot of that in the playoffs, especially in the half-court set. So we'll see because if they uh, play against a team like the Knicks, they're going to need that a lot, and especially with floor spacing because uh, Siakam can knock down capable, capable threes, and like I say, he can basically spread the floor too. So uh, this, uh, I, like, I like that they picked him up uh, this season. It's a perfect uh, system um, for him and Hagelburn. And the third guy I want to talk about, 3D guy, 3D big man, and that is no other than Miles Turner. Um, feeling like, to me, he's, his biggest strength primary thing is defense, uh, interior force on the interior. Uh, you know, I mean, he's due averaging basically two blocks this season. Uh, it's been one of the best shot blockers, elite shot blockers in the league for a while. 
So at, at least for the Pacers defense, you got something on the interior. And this team is really athletic. So I feel like defense is such a primary thing for them because they're not really known to be one of the best defensive teams in terms of let other teams score because they let teams score like 120 plus points a game. So, you know, I feel like defense is such an emphasis for them. And I feel like they can use their athletic ability from the other role players to combine that with team defense because they got size and height and length. So um, I feel like Miles Turner is the lead defensive anchor for that. And uh, offensively, Spread the floor, floor spacer, catch and shoot, three point shooter. Um, nice finish at the rim. I feel feel like he uh, developed, evolved his mid post, mid range game. So it's nice to see that from him. And then the next guy, their X Factor, Aaron Nesmith. I wish the Celtics would have kept this dude because this dude is basically what a floor spacer looks like uh, in terms of just. On a microwave hot streak, this dude, three-point shooting is spectacular. Dude is a walking three-point shooter bucket. <laughs> um, you know, it just splash, splash all day. And, um, you know, uh, he's an underrated finish at the rim. He's having one of his better seasons this season with the Pacers. Um, shooting, the three, shooting the three ball very well. One of the best three-point shooters in the league, and his catch and shoot ability is 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 elite. It's off the chain, and um, and I feel like I feel like with their with them with the Pacers being the number one team in scoring, that's already a great thing because you got other guys like other role players. I think like three, or four more other role players is averaging no more than nine, ten points a game, and uh, and I feel like, you know, like I said, scoring, scoring is not gonna be a problem for them. It just the fact that defensively, it's gonna take commitment, consistency, and just communication. And I feel like defense and um, and ball movement is crucial for them. They ain't also number one team in the league in terms of uh, assists. So I feel like they all had to come together defensively, communicate, you know, transition buckets. And, you know, like I said, this team is pretty athletic. And um, I feel like if they can do that consistently, they can they can make a nice run in the playoffs. But, you know, um, and like I said, with Hagelburton, got to gotta be aggressive to score. He has to be aggressive. Because, like I said, the adjustments, the film such is going to be crucial to make him score, which I know he really don't want to do first because, like I said, he's a pure pass first type of point guard. So we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. So uh, I, I had this team making a deep playoff run. Not a super deep playoff run, but make some noise. That's for sure. But, um, if you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you want. I love you guys to my 70 subscribers. I love you guys. Let's keep this channel growing. Let's make an impact. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Jay Boogie is out.